In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a dope magnifier glass effect within DaVinci Resolve 17 free version. Let's see today's intro first and then jump into the edit page. Welcome to another tutorial in DaVinci Resolve 17. Today I'm going to show you how to build up advanced magnifying glass effect in DaVinci Resolve 17 in free version. So currently we are in edit page so let's get started. Let's go to media pool and just right click on this area go to new fusion composition create one so we can just change this name to uh, let's say Magni glass enter and let's drag and drop to our timeline put the playhead in the middle of the clip and let's jump into fusion page in fusion page we already have media out here so next thing is let's grab this media in this media in is basically map and uh, we can close this to be able to see better and next thing is you can see that we're gonna build our uh, uh, magnifying glass uh, here that we can be able to see this map better so how we're gonna do it uh, first thing is let's press shift and spacebar and we're gonna uh, import a transform node and just put it behind the media one first i would like to explain you why transform first because we can just use size and we can just use it as a zoom in or zoom out so that's why we go with transform one but we would like just to have area here that we would like to move it around and see uh, uh, magnifying glass effect uh, in the different positions so how are we gonna do that uh, let's go back to transform highlight it and go to ellipse tool and just press on it uh, you can see here this circle just grab it and just put it that it's a bit smaller or you can do it here on the right hand side in inspector but first you will probably need to do uh, something else so let's reset width and height and just uh, go to expression so right click to height uh, go to expression grab this plus and just drag it to width and you can see here width and that's it so you can change the size here as well with no problem with height and width so let's put it this here somewhere and next thing is we need to change the size we're gonna go with like this we can still change it afterwards so next thing is we're gonna go to media pool and we're gonna grab this magnifier tool and uh, as media tool so we're gonna connect this to transform and you can see this uh, magnifying glass uh, and we're gonna change the size because we would like to have the same dimension as this one so next thing that we're gonna need is transform note uh, you can go like before shift and spacebar or you can just grab it here and just put it beneath the media in two so now we have a transform node here and we can basically change the position and uh, we can also change the size so that we will be able to just put above the ellipse so let's go to ellipse just pin to the toolbox here go to transform so next thing we would like to have this pivot that was following so the transform 
following the ellipse all the time. So let's go to pivot, right click, expression, and uh, when you have expression, just grab this and go to center of ellipse. And now we have uh, we have connected both tools. So now you're gonna see that basically it's following around. And uh, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna connect also these two tools. So let's go to merge and we're gonna do the same. So when you have merge, right click on center expression, grab this tool and go to center as well. So you can see here ellipse one with center. So now if we go to ellipse, we can move both together here. So we, we, we just need to, to correct basically the, the size a little bit and the position of course like like this and now we can see basically the effect it's here and we can change the size a little bit more like this and we're gonna add dent just you will see the effect press shift and the spacebar and we go with dent just put it in you can see here that everything is distorted go to uh, dent tool and just select dent tool and it's easier and go with lesser strain so, but also with the size of it, so we can drag it here. The bit size is a bit. So we're gonna put it like this, and we're gonna change the position like this. So we're gonna go with with that and that's it but uh, we still have to connect uh, dent with ellipse so the same thing go to center right click expression grab this plus and just connect it to center here so now when you go to ellipse you can see that everything is moving together so quite nice but we can still do a few more things uh, I reckon that we can go with crop shadow just put it in and we're gonna basically change the strength we can change the drop angle to the bottom so drop distance a little bit uh, like this and we can change the blur the last thing that we need to do is we can go with back to ellipse uh, go to uh, center keyframe it and we're gonna move this to here somewhere and uh, go like uh, 20 frames ahead we can go directly to third and we can go with additional 30 and we can go to Kalgoorlie and then we can move for this uh, 30 or 40 so we can go to Esperance and we can go to 110 or something like that we can go to Adelaide and with 140 we can basically uh, go to Alice Springs like here and next let's go to 180 let's go to shark bay and we can leave it like this or we can go to 220 and just uh, put it back to pert and this is the pathway that we have done so we can go back to edit page uh, we can just play it through to see what we have done till now so 
you can see that it's very robotic so we're gonna change a few things so let's stop this jump back to uh, fusion page in fusion page just click on the ellipse and you you can see these squares here so we're gonna use these squares just click on it you have tools toolbar here so you can see this uh, smooth tool so just press on this smooth tool for each and every uh, square that you have here and we're gonna smoothen this a little bit so uh, computer is doing by its own so one more and you can see you can just grab it uh, and change the the area or you can go like like this we can go like here uh, and we can go back and basically play it through you're gonna see it's uh, much smoother but it's still very fast you can't see it very good so what we can do now so we can stop it go back to fusion and just highlight ellipse go to spline and uh, we can see here the ellipse go to displacement uh, just press to this zoom uh, you can also zoom it out with uh, control and mouse wheel so uh, basically what we can do just highlight all of them go to this tool just uh, time stretch and we're gonna slow and down a bit, little bit so we're gonna change the this and we can also change different things so uh, let's go to each and every one oh, and we can play with this uh, tool as well so a little bit to to be just you will see the effect it's very nice but don't go too crazy uh, so we can play through here to be able to see let's go a little bit back like we if you are looking something so it's much smoother than before uh, doesn't look bad looks uh, actually very nice so we can basically see uh, the whole effect here and that's it for today so if you have any question regarding this effect, let me know down in comments or send me an email. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Really dope effect. Once again, thank you for watching. And if you find this tutorial helpful, hit that thumbs up. Leave your feedback, suggestion or comments below. And if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to watch my other tutorials as well. Till next time, take care and have a good one.